Hi, my name is Hilmer and today I went all the way to Houten to meet with Martin de Groot. He studied nature and conservation at the Wageningen University and these days he's working at the PEFC. Let's see what he's up to. So Martin, what are we going to do today? Well today uh, I'm having an interview, actually right now. Okay. Uh, so let's meet the interview. Martin, you are working here at the PEFC, but what motivated you to start studying forest and nature conservation? For me, my, my motivation was actually the, the love of nature. I actually did lots of nature photography as well. And for a project at, at my high school, I was kind of creating a small nature book. And for that, I wanted to have some advice. So I Googled a National Geographic nature photographer, and then I came by Ruben Smit. He was finished studying uh, forest and nature conservation. Yeah. So I went to the open day at the Wageningen University, and I very much liked it. I liked the topics, I liked the teachers, but also like the motivation or the, the spirit of Wageningen University. And then I proceeded actually uh, from the bachelor to the master within the same study because I liked it that much. Now you work for the PEFC. What does that stand for? PSC stands for the Program for the Endorsement of Forest Certification Schemes. It's a kind of umbrella organization divided amongst about 40 countries in all over the world, in every continent. I'm basically the Dutch representative of PEFC. And the goal of PEFC is that all forests in the world are managed sustainably. In the Netherlands, we barely have any forest, but we do have lots of companies who are trading wood or paper or wood-based products. So that is why we can have a huge impact in the Netherlands as well. That's actually what we are focusing on right now. What does your daily day look like? That's actually a funny question because it's, it's so different. It's a very diverse job. For example, last month I went to Paris, uh, London and Germany, but that is an exceptional month. But for example, today I'm the whole day at the office making phone calls, re-evaluation of the forestry standard. And there are quite a lot of companies who want to get attention for their sustainable product. And that is why I do some interviews as well in order to help these companies in getting the right information for their products and also helping them in promoting their sustainable products. So what does sustainable forest management actually mean? And sustainable forest management means for PEFC that a forest is managed on basically three pillars. An economic pillar, a social pillar, and an ecological pillar. But I can better show you this in practice. So, we are now in a forest near Arnhem. Has this forest been certified? Yes, and you actually can see it in practice as well. So here we see some dead wood lying. Uh, this is very important in order to increase the biodiversity or to maintain the biodiversity in the wood ecosystem, in the forest ecosystem. So it's very important for insects and uh, birds, for example. Uh, but you can also see different kind of tree species. So there are some, some birch over there, some beech. So this is all very important for the ecological pillar, so to say. But you can also use part of this dead wood that is lying here, for example, as firewood. So for economical purposes too. But if you look around, you see that there's a, there's a road over here. So you can see people recreating and enjoying the nice forest by walking their dog, for example. That's part of the social pillar. Uh, so all these three pillars combined make it actually that this forest can be managed sustainably and thus can be certified. So the, the wood that is coming or the timber that is coming from these forests can be sold as PEFC. Well, Martin, thanks a lot for giving me a little look behind the curtains of an alumni after studying the Masters for Nature Conservation. Hey, you're very welcome. Uh, very pleased to have you. And I wish all the potential Forest and Nature Conservation students uh, good luck, good fortune, and hope to see you in the future. We're going to have some more time in the woods. See you guys later. Bye. Would you like to see more of the alumni of the Wageningen University in research? Subscribe to the Virtue channel. Give this video a thumbs up. For the previous video, click on the left. And for the next alumni video, click on the right.